So firstly, thank you Solutions Medical for giving me this great Vicare uh, cushion. Much appreciated. I appreciate the sponsorship. Um, I'll be testing my Vicare cushion over the next few months. I've been using a Vicare cushion. I've got a Vicare Active um, 6. This one I've had probably about 10 years and it's still in a very good condition, very usable, um, but it's high time for upgrade. So um, let's see what the new Vicare looks like. Big, big upgrade, as you can see. It's again a, a Vicare Active, um, but yeah, if you just compare the sizes, the thickness, physical size, much the same. I'm just very tough on equipment, so um, mine has taken quite a beating. Um, as I camp a lot and I'm extremely active and move around a lot, the chair does take a beat. I've had issues with uh, back so uh, with uh, bed sores and pressure sores until I got my Vicare cushion. Now I've had very little issues. Okay. Remember guys, always read the manual. Very important when you get something new is to read the manual and um, check your fitting as it's super important that it fits correctly. I'll start using it today and I'll give you an update uh, over the next few days and then I'll uh, give you an update um, after about two weeks and after about a month. So off to reading the manual. I'm two weeks into using my new Vicare 02 Active 9 cushion um, and um, so far I'm quite impressed with the new cushion. There is quite a few things that I need to adapt to. Uh, we are all individuals and we have different needs. So this is my old Vicare cushion. This is the new one. As you can see, the front is considerably higher um, as well as the back. Um, I use my legs a little bit so I do not have foot plates on my chair. So this height uh, was quite an adaption for me and I had to make some changes. For those of you that don't know how, how the Vicare cushion works, I'm going to quickly run through it. Um, so in the front of the Vicare cushion, you've got a solid piece of foam. I really like the packaging. I really like the material of the new Vicare cushion. It's much more of a netting, um, so more breathable compared to the old solid material. So if I open up the front of the chair, of the cushion, the front portion comes out as a separate cushion, same as the previous one, just a lot bigger. There's a nice and steady waterproof material. If you open that up, you actually see the inside of the front cushion. For me, this ended up being a bit high and I actually decided to take this out, take out my original cushions front and insert that into my new Viper so that the front portion is lower, which gives me a bit more traction when I put down my foot. Um, luckily it fits, although the height is obviously different but it does still fit. So it gives me the same original height in front of my chair. Then in the back, the design has been improved considerably. There is labels everywhere. Um, and the magic about the Vike cushion is these different pockets. There is one, two, three, four separate pockets. And in these pockets, again, is a very breathable bag and inside each bag is the magic triangles. These. On my original Vicare, these tended to, to burst quite a lot and I had to replace them and pay for them. With the new Vicare cushion, this has a lifetime warranty. I'm very active and my wife sometimes sits on my lap, but um, in all the time that I've now used it, one of them has burst. 
another thing I like about the Vicky cushion is that the labeling is very clear. Back, etc. There's also a diagram on the in the back showing you exactly what goes where, how many standard air pockets are there per segment of the of your chair. You, you must obviously um, change that and remove and add depending on your specific needs. You'll see these pockets are not square, they are shaped, and so is the bag that goes in there. So when you work on the cushions and when you work with the pocket, make sure you insert it. As you can see, there's a very clear label here. This is your left-hand side, so you know where it goes in. This for me is much clearer than the previous versions. So when you insert your pocket, it goes in the right way with the right shape. Good quality zip so far, no issue, easy to pull. For me, with full hand control, if you don't, don't have uh, complete dexterity, you might need some assistance. Now that I insert the lower cushion, the front of the cushion is a lot lower and I've got much better traction on using my feet. One thing I would have liked is to have a, a zip on both sides. I don't like pulling zip across, I would have preferred if there was a zip coming from both ends and you meet them in the middle so then it's easier to find. I'll only know about the quality of the zips in a while but they feel sturdy. The front hang bag is still there, although I, I never use it. I will still need to maybe remove some of some of the air, air pockets from the chair, depending. But currently, this I find this very comfortable, and you'll see now I've reduced the height in front of my chair considerably. Material quality and stiffness is very good, comfort is very good. Um, so I'm going to stick to the new Vicare, but with the old Vicare front to lower it. I'm going to get my chair adjusted again at Solutions Medical um, so that I can lower the, the back end of the seating slightly to make it even more comfortable for me. So that's two weeks into uh, my Vicare review. Everything is going well. Um, I'm very impressed. Um, yeah, we'll see um, on the sturdiness as time goes on. <coughs> so my sitting position is quite comfortable. Currently slightly um, too high at the back of the seat, but I'll have that adjusted. And that this gives me the option of actually using my legs as I move backwards and forwards. Um, air pockets closer look. I just call it the pyramid. I'm not sure the exact the right term. And here is one that is slightly deflated. Luckily, these are the things that come with a um, lifetime warranty. So I'm going to pop in at Solutions and just grab a replacement. I'll, although I may not need all of them, I like to carry a few extras. We're heading off to South America for a year and a half, so I need to make sure that everything's hunky-dory and I take a little bit of spare parts with me. Enjoy this um, review. If you did so, like, give me a thumbs up. If you have other suggestions on wheelchairs, uh, put a comment below. And please um, subscribe to our channel for a lot more videos coming. Welcome back to my review of the Vike Cushion. We're on a different continent, in a different country. It's been four months that I've been using 
my bike cushion and it's high time that I did a bit of a longer review for you to show you how good the cushion has lasted. Uh, so the last time that um, I looked at the cushion was in Cape Town. So let's see how it's lasted. So the secret of the Waikiki cushion is the what I call the pyramids. Um, this is a brand new one, and let's have a look how they survived. Um, through traveling through uh, two countries and about 7,000 kilometers. I've been on boats, I've been sitting in the car, I've been um, camping. So a bit more um, use than normal use. If I open them up, with my old Viker I would have normally found a few of them that's been deflated. So, oops, let's have a look if there is any of the pyramids that's been busted. Mm. So far, so good. So I must say, it looks like these ones have survived a lot better than on my previous Viker. Always important to remember to put the pockets back the way they came out. Um, there's a, a label that shows you exactly how it fits in. Seeing that the, the pocket has been shaped, so remember to check when you put it back so you put it in the right way. Look at the actual material of the cushion. So far, so good. I do put a waterproof cover over this one, but so far it's lasted very well. I've washed it once. Uh, one thing I don't like is the white color coming through, but that's just my preference. Um, obviously, underneath here there's Velcro strips, which I don't use, so I am um, so the paper has started coming off. Then the most important question obviously is what what's my bum thinking about the cushion and I can say um, it feels very comfortable, I've had no problems with any pressure sores while using the cushion, um, although I do sit on it for an extremely long time. So after four months of use I can say Vike you get my thumbs up. First impression was good and um, after long term use I can say excellent work. I did replace the, the front um, because it was very high with my older one to give me a more comfortable ride uh, because I couldn't adjust my chair as much as I wanted to. But that's not linked to the cushion, that is just for my preference on how I use the chair um, and uh, the, the fact that I want to be able to put my feet down on the ground as I don't use any footsteps on my chair because I do have a bit of movement in my legs. So great stuff, thanks again to Solutions Medical for sponsoring me this cushion. It's made a big difference to the quality of my traveling um, and the quality of my life. So please remember if you would like to um, get more videos, please hit that like button, smash subscribe and the bell icon. Then you can get notified of all my future adventures. But that's a story for another time. So please remember to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you won't miss out on future adventures. Thank you for our Patreons for making these videos possible.